Everything you touch today, your phone, your computer, even the artificial intelligence that recommended this video, depends on a single idea, the charge of the electron. For the last 50 years, computing has relied on moving tiny charges through circuits to represent zeros and ones. A simple, brilliant, but limited concept. But here's the twist. That technology has already reached its physical limit, and hidden inside every electron is a property that could change everything. Spin. A quantum behavior as mysterious as it is powerful. This single property could give rise to a new era of computing, one where information no longer needs to move at all. It stays in place and still processes. And if that sounds like science fiction, think again. Spin-based devices already exist in your hard drive, and now researchers are racing to scale them into chips that could transform artificial intelligence, data centers, and maybe even quantum computing itself. So, what is Spintronics and why does it change everything? Traditional electronics rely on charge. Push electrons through wires, flip transistors on or off, and you get binary logic, zeros and ones. But here's the cost. Movement means resistance. Resistance means heat, and heat means wasted energy. That's why laptops burn your legs. That's why massive data centers consume rivers of electricity. And that's why AI training runs up billion-dollar energy bills. But the problem isn't just energy. It's architecture. Every time your computer needs to think, it has to fetch data from memory, process it in the CPU, then send it back, over and over again. It's like writing a book, but every word you need is stored in a warehouse across town. Fetch, write, return. Fetch, write, return. This endless back and forth is called the memory wall. It burns time and energy. So what if memory and processing could happen in the same place? Electrons aren't just tiny charges, they're also tiny magnets. Each has a property called spin, which can point up or down. That S already enough to represent a bit, zero or one, but with a radical advantage. Nothing needs to move. Instead of shoving charges through circuits, you just flip orientation. No movement, no friction, no waste. Just ultra-fast, ultra-efficient computing. And the miracle doesn't stop there. Spin states remain even when the power is off. Data doesn't disappear when you shut down the machine. This is the foundation of Spintronics, and its most important building block has a name that sounds like an anime robot. MTJ, Magnetic Tunnel Junction. Picture two rooms, each with an electron inside. Between them is a locked door. If both electrons have spins pointing the same way, like two friends in agreement, the door opens, current flows, and that's a one. If they disagree, the door stays locked. No current. That's a zero. Now here's the mind-bending part. The door is thinner than an atom. So thin that electrons don't even need to go through it. They tunnel, slipping through like a ghost walking through walls. That's how MTJs store information. And because spin stays stable even without power, MTJs retain memory when the system shuts down. But the real revolution is this. MTJs can act as both memory and logic. They don't just store bits, they can also process them. Think about your brain. If I ask, what's seven times eight? You probably answer instantly. 56. You didn't calculate step by step. You didn't fetch data from a faraway memory bank. It was already there, stored and processed in the same place. That's because neurons combine memory and logic. But computers don't. Memory is separate from processor. Data travels constantly, wasting energy. Now imagine every memory cell in a chip also functioning as a processor. No separation, no delay, no energy-hungry movement. That's in-memory computing, and Spintronics makes it possible. A swarm of microscopic processors, each storing and calculating at the same time, just like a brain. Let's take a real example. Imagine a 2 ho 2 grid of spin devices. Each one stores a number, a weight. When we apply an input signal, say 1 or 0, the devices either allow current to flow or block it. That's multiplication. Then, the outputs combine. That's accumulation. Multiply, accumulate. The fundamental operation of modern computing. It's at the heart of everything from image recognition to large language models like ChatGPT. In a normal computer, this requires constant traffic between CPU and memory. In Spintronics, it happens right inside the memory itself. 
The result? Faster, cooler and more efficient computation. And the speed is staggering. Spin flips happen in trillionths of a second, picoseconds, while consuming a fraction of the energy of charge-based transistors. It's as if every tiny cell of the chip is thinking on its own, in parallel, with almost no heat. So far we've seen spin as a replacement for charge, but it can also go further, into realms where traditional computing struggles. Take noise. In classical computing, noise is the enemy. But spin devices can harness it. This opens the door to probabilistic computing, where randomness itself becomes a tool, perfect for optimization problems, like finding the fastest route for millions of Uber rides, or for AI models that work by adding and removing noise, like diffusion models for image generation. And researchers are pushing even further, exploring chaotic computing, where unstable oscillations of spin states can solve massively parallel, non-deterministic problems. Instead of fighting chaos, spin-based systems can use it. And then comes the ultimate frontier, quantum. Spin isn't just useful for classical devices, it's also one of the leading candidates for qubits, the building blocks of quantum computers. Companies like Intel are exploring qubits based on electron spin inside quantum dots. The beauty? They can be built in silicon, the same material we've already perfected for decades. If successful, spin qubits could bring quantum computing into existing chip factories, a shortcut to scalability. So spin sits at the crossroads, bridging memory, logic, AI acceleration, probabilistic systems, chaotic computing, and even quantum technology. One property infinite possibilities. At this point, Spintronic sounds unstoppable, but physics is beautiful and engineering is cruel. There are three main enemies. Control. Keeping billions of spins aligned reliably is brutally hard. Even tiny defects in a tunnel barrier can cause errors. Reliability. Devices need to survive years of flipping without degradation. That's tough at atomic scale. Manufacturing. Today's chip factories are designed for charge-based transistors. Retooling them for spin requires massive investment and risk. This is why the transition won't be overnight. Despite the challenges, the race is real. Everspin Technologies already produces spin-based memories at industrial scale, used in aerospace and IoT. NVE Corporation specializes in spintronic sensors. IBM Samsung Micron all have active research in Spintronics. Startups like Spin Memory and Avalanche Technology are developing prototypes that could soon hit the market. For decades, Spintronics was confined to academic labs. Today, it's crossing into factories. For half a century, we've pushed electrons, fought heat and hit walls of energy and efficiency. But inside every electron is a compass needle, a direction, a spin. Harness it and the next era of computing won't just be about smaller transistors, it may be measured in the synchronized dance of billions of spins, from AI to quantum, from logic to memory, from order to chaos. The future of computing may already be spinning inside the electron. The question is, will spintronics replace transistors, or will it live alongside them, quietly powering the places we need it most? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoy exploring hidden revolutions like this, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep bringing you the breakthroughs most people don't even know exist.